NRL.com is here with Daniel Vito from the Brisbane Broncos, named again in the Toa Samoa side. A privilege? Yeah, definitely. Um, it's always a you know, privilege to play for you know, the country you know, where um, you know, family's from. So you know, it's always good to play for your grassroots and um, you know, find out where, you know, know, know more about the culture side of things and you know, to represent and put on a jersey, it's, it's another thing as well. So yeah, very, very happy. Uh, tell us a little bit about your family for those that don't know. Yeah, um, so mum's from Samoa, so um, she's, I actually had, you know, opportunity to go there after the World Cup, you know, um, last, last year and um, you know, got to learn a bit more about my culture and, um, you know, all the, all the things about Samoa and, you know, the Samoan people and it's, you know, it's an amazing place, you know, it's very, um, you know, very friendly bunch of people, um, definitely love their food, which is awesome and, um, yeah, Samoa is just a beautiful, you know, place to be too. I believe they love their rugby league there too. Yeah, very. Um, they're very into their rugby league. Um, when we went there, there were um, you know kids everywhere. You know, we went into public and they all come up, you know, wanting pictures and and whatnot. So uh, that was awesome to meet you know all the kids like that and put smiles on their faces. So um, yeah, it's awesome. It's a big thing for Samoa to you know be in the World Cup. You were there. How was that tour for you? Yeah, it was a good one for us. Um, it was the first time we made the semis, so um, it was um, definitely a a target that we had was to make the semis. We were unfortunate to make the semi-finals. Um, you know, we, we had a defeat against um, Fiji there, but um, we're still very happy to make it. You know, that far. So um, hopefully, you know, this this uh, test um, on Saturday is going to be a, a massive one to you know go into the Four Nations. So we're hopefully, you know, we're going to come out with the you know we'll, trying to get the result and make the you know the Four Nations will be a massive um, thing for Samoa. So hopefully we pull it off. How important is it that Samoa continues to be put on the map in terms of um, not just national footy but international footy? Yeah definitely um, you know it's something that we have to you know um, pride ourselves upon you know obviously we want people to know that you know Samoa is here to play it's not you know it's not just a team put together from random so um, we've definitely got a good side and um, you know uh, lots of the players from different teams in the NRL um, you know there's a few um, friendships there as well which is um, always good to have in the team you know, to have that bonding, you know, between the players. And um, yeah, I think it's going to be an awesome game. Just talking about the side, tell us a bit about them and, and who are you most excited about playing alongside? Yeah, there's, um, we've got a pretty new side uh, this year. There's, um, I think there's only six of, six of us from the World Cup side. So yeah, there's a lot of newbies um, this year, which is, it's very exciting. Um, you know, we've got lots of new players in there that have, you know, been killing it in the NRL. So, you know, to see them, you know, um, perform for us on Saturday night will be um, awesome. Who are you most excited to be playing alongside? Uh, well, we've got um, okay, we've got you know uh, Rennie's backing up. Rennie Matoi, he's, he's playing again. Uh, we've got um, Soya Matangi, which has uh, been a standout for the Warriors. So he's coming. He's at, he'll, I'm, I'm sure he'll put a you know a bit of <laughs> he'll put a bit of heat onto the Fiji forwards. I think he's a big fella. Um, but um, Sam Tagatizi is probably the one that you know I'm pretty happy that he's come back. He's um, you know been playing really well. Uh, really big forward, he, um, you know, he helps us out a lot. And, um, it'll be um, interesting to see how he goes. Obviously your time in the World Cup and, and playing a test for Samoa already would have given you a bit of experience. What have you taken out of, um, of being a part of those campaigns that you can now bring into this test match? Yeah, um, it was a new thing for me last year to put on the Samoa jersey, but um, I learned a lot about it and I learned that it's a, it's a massive thing, you know, to you know, be playing for the you know, country that you know, your family's from. So. No, it's a big honour and I'm um, very excited and you know, hopefully take that experience into this um, match on Saturday and hopefully um, you know, we get a result. It was a big crowd out there last year, um, over 10,000 cheering you on. How important would it be um, for you to see the crowd out there supporting you this weekend? Yeah, um, we didn't really get the result last year that we were hoping for, but um, you know, the, the fans and the, you know, um, the Samoan, you know, um, the people are very passionate about you know, their country. So. Um, they were still there cheering for us, which is all that matters, to, in, um, to be honest, Matt. And um, this year, I think, you know, we owe them. So um, it'll be a big, big match for us. So if we get the result, it's only going to be, you know, good for us. So that'd be good. Well, best of luck. Yeah, thanks, Matt.